Hello fellow Helldivers, Thornton here, and well, Arrowhead just dropped the latest patch yesterday, and it is fantastic, and it is a lot of fun. And today, we're going to go over what is so great about that update, and why it's great for the future of Helldivers 2. Along with that, there were some new data mine files about the platoon and clan system that we're going to cover as well. So we're going to go over all of that, but without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So the new patch for Helldivers 2 came out yesterday, and well, I'm going to be honest, it's absolutely fantastic. All the weapons and everything feels absolutely great. That that being said, there has been some additional information that was absolutely fantastic. As PC Gamer actually put it in the top 100, and Helldivers on Twitter actually went ahead and said thank you to every player out there, which is just great to see. As we continue to look, the player count is continuing to climb. This was actually set in the morning on Tuesday, so I imagine when people are actually off work and able to hop on, the player number is going to explode, as a lot of people are very happy about it. Now, with this being said, there was some new stuff found in the data mine patch, and this comes from Iron Sights. And it's all about the platoon system that we've been waiting for for a while. Apparently, there is going to be clan announcements, clan events, there's going to be clan chat rooms, clan vote for user, which I would imagine is going to be a promotion to motion type like system, clan news, and clan flag. Apparently as well, you may be able to join multiple clans as he says it's supported. Keep in mind, this is just data mine information. Nothing is 100% confirmed yet. This is all going to be around the time of, well, when we finish doing the Democracy Space Station. We've been working on that with major orders for the last couple of weeks. They've been pretty challenging, but they've been spread out in the way that it makes me think that this is actually going to end on October 26th once again which is Liberty Day we're on stage two out of stage four so halfway there it depends mainly on how long the next major orders are there's some other things that will be coming with this clan system there's an emblem system which comes with a frame background a different layer setup you can have a bunch of your friends here there are also going to be specific clan stratagems as iron sights also let us know these ones usually consist of thief drops and other type of units which you will actually be able to call in and have ai teammates on your side and apparently there's going to be an arm wrestling station it's going to be pretty fun you just button prompt and smash and try to beat your friends at a game of arm wrestling but that's basically what's going on i wanted to spend the rest of this video actually highlighting the differences between old weapons and new weapons via gameplay with the buff so you guys could see exactly how things have changed so i'm gonna go ahead and start rolling some clips and you guys can have an idea of how the, everything works in case you haven't got a chance to directly see it yet Those are going to be the big changes that you can actually see in the game with these weapons right now. And then I did want to go ahead and show some stuff from Arrowhead where they went ahead and described some new updates with quality of life stuff such as minimap so that you guys can look forward to that in the game as well. When you play the game, you wonder where the hell is the supply? Mm. Uh, where, like, where is that? We marked it on the map. Uh, same thing like where did you park your exosuit? Don't have to ask, ask that question anymore. 
So let's let's talk a little bit about the uh, the Helldiver armor. Um, so the heavy armor was not. We gave it more, so you get. It used to be uh, like 20% damage reduction. Now you, it's 25, and uh, the light armor used to increase the damage taken by 33%, now it increases by 25 so the light armor is a little bit less punishing, and the heavy armor is a bit more rewarding. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, jump into some of the weapons. Firstly, we have plasma weapons in general. The projectiles and the logic that dictates like what is plasma uh, is more unified now. It's more of a projectile that travels fast through the air and then drops off speed fast. Let's start off with a purifier. You can charge it up and get a really big, a big boom. Or you could just click and it basically shoots like the Scorcher. Yeah. But, but in that case, it, it encroaches a little bit on the Scorcher. So what, would the, what do we do to the Scorcher to, to make up for that? Now you can change your fire mode and it actually has automatic fire. And it's in, it has an increased fire rate up to now 350. So we give it a bigger magazine. So you have 20 shots. And then we have the Punisher Plasma. So we, we reduce some recoil and increase some fire rate, but it's it, it generally in the same space it was before, but it will act a little bit differently. It's a faster projectile that then drops off fast, uh, also much faster. Before it was, it did like the arc, mm. and now it's more, it's closer to a straight line and then drops off very quickly. Uh, we can start with the penetrator. It was annoying with small magazine, you had to reload very often. Uh, I think in total you actually go up in ammo. I yeah. think there's more. But uh, it's nicer not to uh, reload quite as often. And then we have our dear friend, the Adjudicator. Uh, we up the damage a little bit to 90, uh, some durable damage, and slightly larger magazine. The Tenderizer can now vary its fire rate up to 850. Uh, all of the assault rifles have become a little bit easier to control as well. I think for most of them at least. We reduced the hor horizontal recoil a little bit. Let's talk about the biggest change of all the primary weapons. <laughs> it's the Dominator. I love the Dominator. Um, why was it in the explosive category? It's not anymore. So now in the UI I can find it under special weapons. Uh, let's look at the sidearms. Yeah. You guys commented online saying like the stim pistol, it's hard to hit. So it went from uh, we cut it down to like 15% of spread, so you'll, you'll hit what you're actually trying to hit. Now it's uh, 200 meters per second, up from 80. Okay, let's talk about the big boys in the sidearm category, the Verdict and the Senator. The Verdict, it is a big boy, so it has AP3. It went up to medium arm and penetration, and uh, it went up in... It did a bit more stagger, durable damage, but then it was like... Ah, and now it's not kind of in the space of the Senator, and the Senator is a bigger boy. So... Let's just take it up to armor penetration 4, like an auto cannon. And we also gave it more damage, and like double the durable damage. The grenades, high explosive frag and incendiary, had yeah. sort of fallen behind the curb. Yeah, they weren't used that much, so we just said like, um, alright, if we basically double the damage on most of the non-impact grenades, yeah, maybe, maybe you'll it. like it. Maybe. So let's talk about one of my favorite throwables, the throwing knives. If you can throw more of them, you have more fun. Mm. So we just gave you more. So tell me, Niklas, how many more? 12 more, so you have 20. L let's talk about the auto cannon. Yeah. So, so you could change uh, how the projectile acts and just at the click of a button. So we introduced flak to the auto cannon. So what does the flak that round do? A uh, proximity uh, round that has a big uh, shrapnel explosion. It's very nice. Recoilless rifle. Yes. Has also received programmable ammo. Yeah. We have the high explosive anti-tank rounds. Mm. The heat. heat. Exactly. Now you have the HE round. The high explosive round. Which is just a bigger, super satisfying explosion. Yeah. One of the nicest changes here is the, uh, to the stalwart. Uh, where its ergo has gone up. Yeah. So it has better, better ergonomics. Uh, okay, so mm. both the both the machine gun and the heavy machine gun has gotten, gotten an increase of 25 bullets more. Yeah. Let's talk about backpacks. Yeah. Let's talk about the jump pack first. For a while, the players got to enjoy the um, dark fluid pack. Yeah. I think the values are basically the same. So mm. you, you jump... Uh, your thrust force uh, and, uh, has increased, your vector, you go a little bit more forward, uh, so you can use it more to dodge stuff and also to travel, 
and you can jump more often. Uh, we lowered it from 20 to 15 seconds. Drones. Mm. Uh, yes. Some really cool updates to the drones. Uh, yet an additional mechanical feature in the game. So, um, there's a toggle function now. So, with your backpack fun function, you can recall and like let out your drones. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the guard dog. The, the regular guard dog. <laughs> the regular guard dog. That's just mostly outshined by its cooler cousin. So we g just gave it basically a liberated penetrator instead. So it, it has... It previously had a, a liberator. Yeah. So we gave it increased armor penetration and 50% bigger mag. Okay. So let's just uh. generally talk about all of the sentries. So we reduced cooldown on most of them. Not on the mortars, but everything else, I think. So auto cannon, rocket, uh, Gatling and machine gun. Uh, we shaved off like a solid uh, 30 seconds of the cooldown of all of them. And uh, we gave them uh, the machine gun and Gatling more ammo. And so, uh, anti-tank mines. Uh, the biggest change that we've done to them is what they're triggered by. I mean, it will be Chargers, Bile Titans, Impalers, Hulks, tanks. It's the Tesla Tower. Uh, we just reduced the charge up cooldown between shots from like 3 seconds to 1 second. So... It shoots a lot more. Uh, the cooldown also shaved off 30 seconds, like the other sentries. It's the, the shield generator relay. So we just increase the size many times. It, it, you can cover a decent area, you can cover like an extraction zone. Uh, that comes though with that eventually the enemies will actually pass into the bubble and then you're not as protected. But you have a big bubble and it uh, like regenerates its health all the time. Let me know down below, do you guys like the new update? Is the game finally hitting on all cylinders for you? And are you excited for the upcoming platoon slash clan system? Also, don't forget to check out this video and this video right here where I cover more news and information on Helldivers 2. And until next time, everyone, thanks for stopping by. You spread democracy.